Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys my final castle before the V Rising 1.0 launch. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick tour, show you guys around. Um, I'm gonna give an aerial view first during the daytime so you guys can just see what that looks like. And uh, yeah, I'll talk a little bit about this castle and how it came to be and what inspired it and all those great things. So um, for those of you who don't know, I've been working on this castle during my streams lately. It's taken me quite a few uh, sessions of putting stuff together in order to achieve the goal, which was to create a convention center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the front door here and I'll give you guys a tour. So if we go through here, you'll start to notice that many of the servants have names that are of artists or famous figures and things like that. Um, these guys were all named by viewers. So if you ever stop into any of my streams, you might have a chance to name uh, some of my servants. And uh, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. We have a nice lineup here of people who I think are pretty interesting. Uh, this was probably a more uh, pressing one uh, for obvious reasons I'm not going to get into here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a, a lot of cool artists all in here, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, I'm going to show you guys the second floor. So the second floor, in order to get up here, of course, uh, the entrance is over this way. So I'm just going to show this area a little bit. I have a nice little waiting area, seating area, and I tried to keep the halls or like the the aisle area very uh, empty as much as I could. And I also put down a bunch of uh, paintings on the walls to kind of give like the illusion that artwork is on display. Uh, that was kind of like the idea behind that. So uh, yeah, that's why things are set up the way they are. If you notice, I also have a bunch of servant coffins in here. I'm going to quickly pop my head in here so you guys can see it. Um, but basically, it's just a bunch of servant coffins lined up. Castle Heart here, there's nothing really important back there. But the reason why I have all the coffins in here was to basically hide them from public view and to just give the illusion that... Uh, this area is just, you know, full of artists. And uh, Artivius here is our event coordinator. So uh, he's kind of glitching out there, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find the way eventually. All right, and I'm going to head upstairs. We're going to go to the second floor. I have a few bookcases in the hallways here. I decided to put like a nice gargoyle statue. Um, I decided to go with the outdoor lamp posts just because I felt that the lighting was a little more subtle than some of the other indoor lighting and I didn't want to put uh, bright braziers around the uh, statue so there's that. If you notice this floor also has kind of a, a less expensive look compared to what we'll see upstairs but you don't have that comparison yet so I'll get there eventually. All of these rooms, except for certain rooms, which I'll point out, are basically guest rooms for the hotel. So usually when you go to like an anime convention or like a comic con or something like that, you'll see a um, you'll see that it's usually either near a hotel, partially in a hotel uh, and things like that. But yeah, it's been years since I've actually gone to a con and I've been wanting to go to a con for so long that I just kind of felt like making this castle, I guess you could say. Um, all the handmaids and stuff are also, uh, they're, they're basically house cleaning. That's the idea with these guys is that uh, the second and third floor, basically the servants are housekeeping. So I figured, you know, they all kind of, they, since they all look the same with their outfits, I, I, try, I thought that this would be more appropriate or closer to what you would expect uh, staff, like hotel staff to be wearing, I guess. Um, I tried my best on that. Uh, we don't have that many customization options at all when it comes to uh, servants. So yeah, that's all, that's all I got, I guess. 
in this uh, little area here, we have a nice little balcony. This is a two a two vampire room. You have uh, stone coffins on left and right. It's actually pretty nice considering it's not on the third floor, and you'll see what I mean by that later. Um, but yeah, we have a nice little view. You can see people entering the hotel. You can see um, some other areas here. But yeah, it's very, very chill, very nice. And it kind of has a nice warmth to it. I tried to also use the same exact materials and different uh, furniture items up here all the way around the entire floor so that there is some consistency. So you'll notice that like all of the um, candles and stuff like that, they're all usually um, the same on this floor. So yeah, we're going to keep going. We're going to go over to the second area here. This is an outdoor balcony. This is kind of like a public balcony area. I guess you could call this like a smoking area or something. Um, I feel like a lot of uh, hotels kind of lack like the public, you know, areas to just kind of stand outside. Usually something like this would be on the roof. Um, but I just kind of wanted to have something a little bit nice and cozy that's still kind of outside. So for any vampires that needed fresh air, they could definitely go outside and get that. We're going to head over this way to the panel rooms or the I guess you could call them like conference rooms but if you ever been to a con there's like these panels that you know sometimes they'll have like special guests show up and you'll have like different voice actors or you'll have uh, artists or uh, producers or whoever made whatever anime content um, and, and even if it's not like an anime convention like very important people usually or special guests will be uh, having panels and so usually in the panel rooms you'll have like a few chairs in the front you'll have maybe one or two tv screens in the back or some kind of uh, thing I decided to just put paintings here because I mean I figured you know it's just kind of like a speaking session and I use the outdoor uh, chairs here, the wooden outdoor chairs, to kind of sit in and blend with the room. I could have also made them all white, but I decided not to because remember this is only the second floor and it's not supposed to be too, too fancy. So that was kind of like my idea behind this. And yeah, you can just imagine people uh, showing up and taking a seat. We can't sit yet, but one day we will and that is going to be awesome. So this room is basically identical to the other one. I think the paintings are slightly different, but other than that, this is basically a mirror image of what we just saw on the other side. So yeah, it's definitely a really, really cool um, part of this castle that I really like. This room here is basically like the, I guess you could say the servant's room in a sense. It's It has like, you know, a little um, a powder room, I guess you could say, because we don't have like, bathrooms in this game so I decided to just kind of make powder rooms instead and that'll kind of act as like the bathroom of the rooms if that makes sense and yeah so this is basically just um you know the headquarters or I wouldn't even say headquarters it's just a place where um room service stays in the hotel or you can call it like the closet or something like that um but yeah it's basically a staff room that's all this is and if we head over here, we can also see another room here where we have kind of a similar setup, same exact uh, idea. Um, I really, really like placing these gray pelts underneath here because I can just imagine myself sitting here studying something or reading something. And then like my, my cold feet just kind of finally just being on a warm pelt like that. It's just wonderful. So, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I also have a nice little balcony back here where you can kind of see uh, just all around on the outside. I have vases. So all the balconies are pretty much the same throughout the entire castle. We're going to head over this way. And here's another outdoor public balcony. This is uh, another one on the second floor. But on this time, uh, this time it's on the right side, whereas the other one was on the left side that we've already visited. 
So yeah, we have a nice little balcony area. I decided to separate this balcony from this balcony because I felt that the room should have its own private balcony. This balcony could have been a two square balcony, but I just felt like adding a third because I didn't want to leave um, this piece of the building uncovered. So I said, you know what, let's just add a wall there. And uh, yeah, it came out nicely. And if you notice uh, one last thing I forgot to mention, uh, I've been using very few of these uh, hanging lights. Um, this one here, I don't know why that... <laughs> now that I look at it, I don't know why that one wasn't... Uh, why well, that one was white, but <laughs> yeah. Um, it'd be like that sometimes, as I like to say, where you find little mistakes like that. But, you know, it happens. So we're going to head over to... Okay, yeah, so this is back to the first floor is where this would take us, but we're actually going to head over to the third floor. I'm just showing you guys where that portal takes you, that's all. So if we head over here, this is my room. So as the owner of this establishment, I thought it was appropriate to have a nice room. So this one is probably the most luxurious room of the castle. It has a nice little powder room everything is so like it's just really just expensive looking you have all types of stuff i mean everything just made of gold gold accented curtains you have i mean even the chair looks nice i mean you have lots of things here so definitely really cool and of course i gotta have that mirror in case i need to change my outfit um a lot of these rooms have window hatches uh even on the second floor i forgot to mention that so yeah i decided to use window hatches because we are in a wintry or cold area so to me it wouldn't make sense to just have um glass windows because it would just be really really cold in the castle anyway so i don't know that's how i imagine it um but yeah we have a little chest here for our belongings we have uh, a nice uh, bookshelf here we have you know standing clock and of course i put like a little desk here i tried to put a desk in every uh hotel room i know that like in most hotels you have like a desk area even if it is kind of shitty <laughs> um but in this case it's not and this is probably one of the few instances where you see uh this table with like a really nice uh chair because i think it's only on the third floor i might have done that or it could just be this room i don't quite remember but yeah, and then of course I have my coffin. Can't, can't, uh, you know, not have a place to sleep. The coffin's nice and warm, so I think I'll be fine. <laughs> and then I have two uh, chairs here. Sorry, I have two tables here with pairs of chairs. So if for some reason we want to have some guests over and I want to have some VIP guests hang out and chill, they can chill here. And of course here I have the royal throne. Um, yeah, so the Royal Throne allows me to jump down from behind it, I guess. But uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. I added this carpet in just to match the whole aesthetic. And then, of course, we have some nice um, grapes here. All the planters that are tall like this, I planted grapes in. I just thought it looked cool, so I decided to go with it. And this is probably... I, assuming that they fix this bug in the next... Um, in the, in the 1.0 update which i mean it's a bug so i can understand why it would be fixed but assuming that does happen that might be our last chance to see um a lot of these things um sorry a lot a lot of these um glitch glitch flowers if that makes sense uh this room is a lot smaller um it's also on the third floor it's also really shiny and expensive looking um to make up for it we added extra wine <laughs> Well, when I say we, I mean me, but you know what I mean. And of course we have uh, some nice uh, candles here. We got a nice chair. Everything is just super fancy. We got Lady Gaga here to uh, do our room service stuff, I guess. Also named by a viewer, by the way. Um, yeah, so this is the only... I think this is one of maybe two rooms on the third floor that don't have a, uh, a balcony because they're just inside. So, of course, you know, there will be a small price difference, I guess, right? Um, if we go to this end here, I think this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the hotel just because of the way it's laid out. We have, a, you know, another powder room right here. Looks like I forgot to put some candles. I'll fix that later. Don't worry. You'll see it fixed in the um, in the castle tour video. And 
and well n not this one but i'm gonna put out another one where you can just see the walkthrough so for the walkthrough you'll see that uh here on the edge here you can see that i put the fencing on top of the uh, railing. In order to achieve this, I used invisible flooring and then put the fences up and then the flooring. Uh, so yeah, that's how I got that to work for those of you who might be wondering. I don't know if we're going to be able to still do that at 1.0, but you best believe I'm going to test it out. Here's the other room that has no balcony, but is also really fancy and nice looking. I think that the layout of this room is really nice and relatively simple, but also very, um, very cozy at the same time. And of course, you know, you have the wooden window hatches in case you need some fresh air and all that. You can see the, the cold, uh, the cold environment outside. I'm just shivering looking at it, honestly. And of course we have this other room, which is probably another one of my favorite rooms in the castle because this is like an L shape kind of room. This was a little bit more of a challenge, especially for this. I don't like to put chandeliers above the coffins, but I decided to do it in this case because why not? And uh, yeah, we have some, we have a nice uh, setup here. So very, very nice. Of course, we have a little stash here. We have a nice place to study. We can tell the time. And I put a small bookcase and some wine in case we need to relax and chill and enjoy our time up here. Very, very nice view from this balcony. Uh, any any vampire renting this, uh, or sorry, uh, any vampire who books this room is definitely going to have a great time uh, staring outside into the abyss. But that's besides the point. We're going to keep going. So yeah, if I take... Actually, let me make sure. Oh yeah, I did that room. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way. And in this, uh, in this room, whoops, sorry. In this room right here, I missed one. In this room, we have a nice little uh, bookcase here. We have the fireplace. This room is laid out a little bit different from the other rooms in the sense that the shape is different. So, here we have you know a lot of the same ideas looks like i forgot a curtain here i'll come back and fix that later it's funny because i i go through my castle several times before i i call it you know finished or completed and then somehow when i do my tours i still find stuff i missed but you know i guess it'd be like that sometimes um but yeah it's definitely a really really nice castle i think this is probably one of my best castles for sure i i really like the setup i like the way that everything is just kind of arranged and i think that overall it just has a nice charm to it um oh uh something else i wanted to mention you're probably wondering how i got all the servants to fit in in here without seeing a bunch of coffins this is how so what i did is i put the coffins in their own room closed off on this side of the building closed off the outside and then just like tucked them in there and hid them uh, the bad part about this is that if for some reason I need to resummon a servant, it's going to be really, really hard to figure out which coffin it is. So for all intents and purposes, this is just for uh, aesthetic purposes to make sure that we don't have to worry about that. One last thing I want to show you guys before I go is the front yard. I haven't shown you guys this part. Actually, it's more like the side of the building. So, yeah. I should probably go through this gate at some point, huh? Uh, out here I have a valet. So anyone who brings a horse that needs to be uh, put up, well, that's your guy. And uh, of course I made a little horse stable kind of thing here. Uh, we have windows so the horses can get some fresh air if they need it. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of the same idea. And of course I have a little bit of uh, watering station here so that uh, they can be cared for and of course uh, this is the only time I think I kept a servant coffin in view um, but it was mostly just because I didn't want to have to deal with the headache of like let's say this guy somehow gets out of this gate and gets murdered by like the wolves that are you know kind of prowling around outside uh, yeah that would have been a pain trying to figure out which coffin is his so that's the only reason why i have him out here um but yeah of course we have pocahontas making another uh wonderful appearance for us and another watering station and uh 
probably noticed I put a bunch of snow flowers on the right and left sides here of the door. And, you know, we have water fountain where somehow the water is not frozen. Uh, not sure how that happened, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let it be. <laughs> and of course, we have two tables here where you could have people sit and chill, you know, some guests talk outside and enjoy their time in the winter. So yeah, the outside or this front yard area is pretty, um, pretty chill. Uh, and of course I put the teleport pad here so that any guests who just want to teleport in, they can do that. Um, but yeah. And then one other part of the castle, which is not accessible to guests would be this area. Let's see if I can get in there. This area right here which is kind of like a balcony area, but this is more for show. I put a couple of pine trees up. I originally was going to have a bunch of pine trees, but I didn't want a bunch of these um, these things around the tree to be standing there. So I, I don't know. I just thought it looked weird. So I decided to just keep two pine trees here. And of course, this is blocked off from this area. The only reason why this room isn't completely connected to here and uh, creating like an extra extended balcony is because I didn't want to have extended balconies on the second floor, especially because the luxury suites are on the third floor. So I didn't think it made a lot of sense. Uh, that being said, it's really cool. You can just kind of look through here, but um, just keep in mind that this area is not a place for guests. This is just uh, aesthetics. <laughs> um, what do you guys think of my castle? Uh, do you think it looks cool? Do you think I could have done better? Is there anything you would have changed? Is there anything that you know, think you think maybe could have been done a little differently. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I really, I really, really like this castle. I want to say, I don't know if this is my best castle. Um, I've had other castles before that I really like too, but I think this is probably one of my favorites just because of the way that it's set up and how unique it is with the idea of having like an artist alley on the first floor. So yeah, uh, would you come to this convention? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sholo Q. I am a Sholo Eats Queenly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I usually stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and now also on Twitter. And if you uh, really like V Rising content, Make sure to like, share, and subscribe because I will be posting plenty of it come 1.0. Not that I haven't already. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, Sholo out.